Hello Stampers and Crafters. I'm Robin Fight at Stamping Country. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little got tree milk carton. With the onset of school and um, holidays coming up, this is a great way to give treats to the kids and to the adults. Are you ready to begin? We're going to start with the mini milk carton die. It'll come out looking something like this. All the lines are pre-scored, so you want to begin folding on the scored lines. Since it's a treat container, chocolate chip ink seemed the way to go. We're going to go ahead and stamp. If we've, we've already scored here, so we know that this is going to be the opening for the spout. So we're going to stamp. I love this. It looks like the old-fashioned milk cartons that we used to have in school. They're probably still there. So we'll be able to see where to open our milk cartons. Once you have those stamped, you want to go ahead and apply sticky strip because you want your project to be very strong. You want to apply it down your tab. And here's a little trick for you. Instead of applying it to each of the three tabs here separately, if you take and just lay it across all three bottom panels, you can then just slice where it's already cut and you won't have to do that application three times. We're ready to assemble our milk carton. Careful that you have this lined up correctly to begin with because sticky strip is very sticky. It won't reposition peel and stick. Let's pull out our Got Treat stamp set once again and this time we're going to use markers to color our little punk, happy pumpkin image. We'll color the pumpkin with peach parfait to match our designer paper. I just love how everything coordinates. It's easy to match. So we'll ink him up real good. I'm using the wide tip of my markers. We'll add Lucky Limeade for his swirling stem and chocolate chip for the words Got Treats. He's asking the question. We'll go ahead and stamp our image and use our extra large oval punch to punch him out. Now the punches are designed to be used with the palm with your palms. So if you're going to use your thumbs when you're lining up an image, you want to make sure that you use both thumbs so it mimics the same pressure that you would apply with the palms of your hands. And then go ahead and punch. Punch a chocolate chip decorative label for the mat. Ready to go. He's so handsome. Your carton's really about complete at this time. What you want to do next is fill it with whatever treats that you have for the kids or for the adults, depending on your, your party. And then you might want to top it off, since we do have the pumpkin to mimic the little swirly, curly cubes. You might use a, a dash of ribbon. I'm using Lucky Limeade Ruffled Ribbon. You can also use, if it, to, keep it, to keep your milk carton in place, you might add a couple of mini glue dots. They work great for this. And you can, you can give it just like this, or have a little fun with your project and add your ribbon with a little mini library clip. Just thanks for stopping at Stamping Country and have a great day.